Good evening, I am Dr. Akl. I'm a cancer treating doctor uh, and today's topic will be on a not common condition called meningeal carcinomatosis. Meningeal carcinomatosis. What does that mean? It indicates a condition when cancer spread to the cerebrospinal fluid and to the nuclei of the cranial nerves and the nuclei of the anterior horn cell of the spinal cord. What does that mean? In, it will be explained to you after understanding the picture. Basically, patients with cancer, either breast, lung, or lymphoma, or other cancers, they, out of the blue, they start to have some neurological symptoms. You do CAT scan, and the MRI of the brain is normal. Then patients start to have weaknesses and paralysis of the cranial nerves. You know something wrong, you look at the MRI is normal. You look, you do MRI of the spine in case of weakness, they start to be weak in their legs and the MRI of the spine is normal. Spinal cord is normal, everything is normal. However, the patients start to have paralysis in the muscle then that's basically this condition called meningeal carcinomatosis. If they take the fluid around the brain and the spinal cord, they call it the cerebrospinal fluid. Take the fluid from the lumbar area, we call it lumbar puncture, and take the fluid and look under the microscope. And many times they see those cancer cells floating. Those cancer cells, they invade into the nuclei of the cranial nerves and the anterior horn cell of the spine, causing damage of those nuclei. So a patient will be paralyzed. Many times the cerebrospinal fluid is free of those cancer cells. So we ask to repeat it even up to three and four times. What the problem with such condition is very serious and the median survival is really short. Treatment could improve median survival and improve increased survival, but for advanced cases usually is not that helpful. In some tumors, like in leukemias, there is more success than others. And early lymphomas sometimes is successful. But unfortunately, in, uh, it, it could be very fatal soon. So it's very important to recognize it and treat it. Again, any patient with previous history of cancer a high index of suspicion uh, for this condition called meningeal carcinomatosis, especially after they have normal MRI of the brain and the spinal cord, 
then they need to do lumbar puncture, take the fluid around the spinal cord from the subarachnoid space and analyze it. Many times you will see the cancer cells. Also MRI sometimes so show enhancement of the meninges. Once this condition diagnosed, patient need to have treatment right away. The treatment is either whole craniospinal irradiation, means give radiation therapy to the brain, included the meninges and the fluid around it, and the spinal cord around it, the fluids. This treatment help patient big time. The symptoms usually improve and many times disappear and their well-being is there and sometimes they live longer. The other treatment is to give chemotherapy to the fluid, we call it intrathecal treatment, and brain radiation. Brain radiation blood plus intrathecal treatment. Those would be a good treatment if there is no frank paralysis. Because if there is frank paralysis, that means the circulating cancer cell going deep all the way to the nucleus. When it is all the way to the nuclei of the anterior horn, horn cells in the spinal cord, the chemotherapy might not reach that far because it's basically circulating in the fluid around it. Radiation is important in this case because it will penetrate to that level and treat the tumor and paralysis will be stopped and not progressed. So this condition, meningeal carcinomatosis, patient with cancer start to have symptoms of weakness, cranial nerve weakness, lower motor neuron type of weakness in the body. The MRI is normal, cerebrospinal fluid will show the tumor, will, so, will show circulating cancer cell in many cases. Sometimes it's not, so it needs to be repeated and clinical judgment will kick in to make decision about the treatment. The treatment will be either craniospinal irradiation, radiate the entire neurospinal axis, to control those cancer in the cerebrospinal fluid or intrathecal chemotherapy plus cranial irradiation. That's good if there is no paralysis in the spine, but if there is paralysis in the spine, radiation need to be given to the segment where paralysis is shown. The, the benefit for that, patients will be improved. The, the, you see their symptoms, sometimes they have uh, sleep, sleepness, tiredness, weakness. Those symptoms many times disappear and the patient will become significantly better. Uh, unfortunately, there is very bad condition. Uh, the treatment helps them, sometimes long-term help but many times is short help. Uh, however, certain cancers patient could do much better than other more aggressive cancers. This condition called meningeal carcinomatosis and sometimes is missed by clinician. So uh, this talk is uh, some review to the clinician and also to patients so who already told about their conditions so they understand where we're coming from, what's the approach and what's the outcome, uh, what's the treatment and so on. So it's important to recognize the early, get better the uh, treatment and hopefully improve the quality of life, occasional patient and many patients might uh, benefit longer time. Thank you.